Hi. Already I have prepared a video how to find the time complexity if there is a for loop. Now the question is how to analyze a loop that is while loop or conditional statements. See basically in C language there are three loops. While and do while there is a difference. Do while will execute minimum one time. But for loop and while loop, I say that they are same. Whatever you can do using for loop, you can do using while loop and vice versa. But before C language, yes, languages used to provide for loop in a different way. Let us see that for loop. For I assign 1 to n do some statements inside and this is colon here this was the syntax in pascal language now this loop says that i should take the values from 1 and to n right so always it will increase by one at a time all right so if you want to increase i by two times then you should say step 2 now i will be changing by 2 every time so i is 1 then it will become 3 then 5 and so on so it will take y i as 1 then 3 then 5 and so on but anyway i is incrementing linearly it is increasing all right so this was the only loops that were available in those days so that time for loop and while loop were different then when you analyze this for loop already we have seen what is the time taken if i don't have this step steps let us say one only then this will execute for n time and this will execute for n plus one time this is a common thing and if you have while loop in this case then in a language if you have while loop then don't know what the condition is it will repeat as long as the condition is true and it will stop when the condition is false. So we have to study this loop and find out when it is going to stop and how many times it is going to iterate. Based on that we have to do analysis. And in this type of code syntax blindly for for loop means n. No other time except n in this type of syntax and when the old languages were used. So mostly in algorithm, some books you will find this loop is used. So it is n, blindly n. But while you cannot say n, unless you study it thoroughly. And in C language, we have do while, which is same as this while, except that it will execute, even if the condition is false, it will execute for one time, because it is post tested loop post check the loop first it will execute the statement inside then afterwards it will check the condition so if already condition is false in the beginning only it is false so this time will execute one time and this will not execute at all but in old languages there used to be a loop called repeat some statement inside and until some condition now these loops were different repeat until loops are different this will repeat as long as the condition is false and once the condition is true it will stop so it is similar to do while how minimum one time the statement is executed but it is different compared to do while how do while will execute as long as condition is true repeat until will execute as long as condition is false it will stop when the become condition becomes true do this until this happens so if it happens you have to stop so if you take an english sentence statement repeat until this happens so if it happens you have to stop if it is not happening you have to go on continuing so that's the difference between them now all these three loops all these three loops 
you have to study them then only you can give the time complexity their time complexity can be n log n or root n it can be anything but for loop we can directly say it's order of n now let me write few pieces of code or snippets where i will use while loop i have written a piece of code using while loop i have to analyze how many times this will execute what is the time complexity of this one i want to know how many times this statement will execute initially i is zero this will take one unit of time and i plus plus how many times this will repeat how many times this will repeat see i plus plus it is just incrementing every time so simply without tracing this one i can say that this will repeat for n times how many times this statement will execute again n times only how many times this will execute n plus one time how n times the condition will be true and one time the condition is false so if for example n is a 10 then this is going to repeat for total 10 times 0 to 10 it will stop when i becomes 10 and how long this will execute as long as i is from 0 to 9 so this is n time right and that is one extra and then what is the time taken by this piece of code 3 n plus 2 yes 3 n plus 2 so the function f of n is 3 n plus 2 and it is theta of n or order of n now the same piece of code in C language I can write like this for i assign 0 here then i is less than n i is less than n i plus plus i plus plus no what is the analysis for this one it will be same if i consider each and everything this will execute for one time this will execute for n plus one time this will execute for n time and this will execute for n time total how many 3n plus 2 but when i was using for loop i was saying that let us ignore these two and just take it as n plus one so i was saying that it was 2n plus one whatever the function may be we are not interested in exact formula or exact function we are interested in the degree of a function so we say order of n that's it now you can see whatever i can write using while loop i can write it using for loop also now next piece of code here see a assign one while a is less than b some statement and a is multiplied by two every time there is no n here then how many times it will repeat i don't know this depends on this condition as long as the condition is true it will continue so i don't know how many times it's going to run let us trace this one a is initially one right then a is becoming a into two so that is one into two so it is becoming two the next time again this is 2 so 2 into 2 again so this will become 2 square the next time again this is 2 square into 2 that is 2 cube goes on how many times this is going to happen I don't know let us assume that somewhere it stops and at that time this is going to be 2 power k so it will repeat for k times and that's what k I have to find out I don't know how many times so I am saying k times now I say that it has stopped here so you should know when it is stopping it will terminate when a is greater than or equal to b it will terminate when a is greater than or equal to b so what I am saying I has reached till 2 power k so since I am saying that a is equal to 2 power k now so this is 2 power k is greater than or equal to b let us make it equal 2 power k is equals to b so what is k log b base 2 so how many times it's going to execute log b times log b times log b times we write the time complexity in the form of log n n we use term n but we got the answer in b so let us call b itself as n so what is the time taken by this algorithm it is 
order of log n that's it this is how i can analyze already i have shown this using for loop that time i was writing the same thing by using for loop like this for a assign 1 a is less than b a assign a into 2 this portion is here that's all already we have seen this in for loops i have shown you this one already we know this one that time i was not taking a i will take i and again here also i and this i will call it as n and this i will call it as i that's it basically this is not proper based on for loop because for means it should just go on incrementing or it should be decrementing it should not multiply i but in case of c language it is possible you write anything as initialization any condition you write anything as updation so these three pieces you can write whatever you like just make sure that the loop terminates after some finite number of steps so that's all what all you can do using while loop you can also do it using for loop in c language and the examples what I have given in all the examples I have used for loop only but instead of for loop just you can reframe them as while loop let us take one more example again a loop is there while loop and in this while loop i is starting from n and i is getting divided by 2 every time so again the time will be log n I made it as a formula already in the previous video so this will be log n and the same thing can also be done using for loop for i assign n i is greater than 1 i assign i by 2 some statement inside so this type of statement already we have analyzed in for loop that same thing is using while loop so the time will be same now here I have a loop let us see how many times this will execute condition is k is less than n and here what is k k is 1 and k is getting updated by adding i every time and i, I is incrementing every time so i don't know how many times it's going to execute so let us take trace this one i and k initially both are 1 so 1 is less than n we don't know what n is and what happens k assign k plus i so this becomes 1 plus 1 that is 2 and i plus plus i becomes 2 now assume k is 2 2 is less than n then next k assign k plus i so 2 plus 2 right and i becomes 3 the next time Again, k, let us say it is less than i. So then k assign k plus i. So this is 2 plus 2 plus 3 and i becomes 4. Next time it will be 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and i becomes 5. So this is going on continuing. So how many times? I don't know how many times. Let us call it as for m times. K already I am using it here. So 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus goes on to m. If I make this as 1, then you can see that is sum of n natural numbers. So this will be m into m plus 1 by 2, roughly plus 1 extra. Roughly it is this much. Now this is k value will be this much, right? It has gone till m and k value is this much and let us assume it has stopped so what is the condition k is less than n it will continue when k becomes greater than n or equal to n it will stop so i assume that k became greater than or equal to n so what is k i am saying i have stopped k at m into m plus 1 by 2 that is greater than or equal to n this is roughly equal to what m square is greater than n so m is what root n approximately it is root n so it will repeat for m time so what is m root n so the time complexity of this one is order of root n 
same thing I can write using for loop also for k assign 1 comma i assign 1 two initializations condition is what k less than n updation is what i plus plus and one more updation is there that I will do inside the statement and k assign k plus i it's the same thing how long this is executing root n how long root n again 1 2 1 2 condition condition updation updation this updation and this updation everything is as it is so what I wrote using while can also be written using for this is little difficult to read that is clear and easy to understand all right so already we have seen this type of loop now I have written it using while loop next this piece of code is for finding GCD of two numbers M and N now how many times it will repeat this will repeat for some time until M and N becomes equal it will be repeating when they become equal it will stop so when they are equal so that is a GCD value either you say M or you say N how many times it will execute I don't know so let me trace if m is equals to 6 and n is equals to 3 initially then what happens m is greater than n yes so m minus n so this becomes 6 minus 3 that is 3 and this is also 3 that's all now they became equal so it has executed only one time if I take m and n both as 5 5 then how many times they are equal it will not enter inside so it will execute zero times so it is minimum executing zero or one times let's say m is 16 and n is 2 now how many times this will execute m and n are not equal m is greater than n yes 16 is greater than 2 enter inside m assign m minus n so m becomes how much 14 and this will be 2 only then again m is greater than n only so again 2 is subtracted so this becomes 12 and this is 2 only again 12 is greater than 2 so this becomes 10 and this is 2 only and this becomes 8 and 2 6 and 2 4 2 2 2 now it will stop now they both became equal so it will stop how many times it has executed 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 times. So almost 16 by 2 times. So it means it will execute for n by 2 times. So I can say it is order of n. So the maximum time taken by this algorithm is order of n. And what is the minimum time taken by this algorithm? It is 1. Means one time it is executing. So minimum time is order of 1 maximum time is order of n I can write the same thing even using for loop I'll just convert it into for loop for nothing initialized and only the condition then no updation I can use for loop also Anyway, this is the GCD, one of the procedure. There are other procedures also, you can find out that. And in this procedure, the time I am getting it as n by 2, so I wrote it as order of n. So if it's a while loop, then I have to study it and find out. Now, same thing in C language can also be written using for loop. So even if it is for loop in C language, you must treat it as while only and study it. Unless and until it is obviously order of n, you have to study it. Yes, I am taking one example here which will show what happens if is there. Just a random code I have written here. It's not meaningful. It's not doing anything. Algorithm test is taking some parameter n. If n is less than 5, just print n. If n is greater than or equal to 5, then enter in the else part and repeat this loop so how many times this loop is going to execute this will execute for n times 
And what about this? This will execute for one time. That's it. If a algorithm is using some conditional statements, then the conditional statements may decide different amount of time in depending on the condition. If the condition is true, then it's going to execute just one statement. So the time is order of one. And if the condition is false, means it's greater than five, then it's going to repeat for n times. So it is order of n. So this is best case time and this is worst case time. So I can say that if there are, so I can say that if there is a conditional statement in an algorithm, then it can decide or give different amount of time depending on the condition. So maybe it may become worst case or best case or of an algorithm. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. It may. It doesn't mean that if if is there, it's not like a formula or rule. If is there, then definitely it will take that much time. It's not necessary. Now I feel I'll make some change here. Imagine the condition now. Now this will execute for n times, n greater than five. Right? Now there is no minimum or maximum. There is no best case or worst case. If n is greater than five, it will execute. That's all. So as I said that you cannot take it as a rule that if conditional statement if is there then the time will be different. Alright. So that's all about the loop and the conditional statements, while loop and the conditional statements. This is how they have analyzed.